Today we're going to show you how to assemble a variable speed plastic foot control and a single speed metal foot control. Alright, so we're going to start with the plastic variable speed foot control and these are the tools that you'll need. You'll need a, a flathead screwdriver, some cutters, wire cutters, wire strippers, and you may need a box cutter or knife of some sort to uh, split the cords with. First you'll need your screwdriver and we'll just stick it in the top right there and just kind of pop it loose so, just so it comes off. And then you see the little back piece right here. When you put it back, you'll start with that first. So you'll take the cord that you need. So they have these little prongs here. And you'll kind of want to take a knife and split them right down the middle there. And just kind of pull them apart just a tad bit. You just kind of want to split them apart like this to where you have enough to where you can hook it up and then still have some to put the grommet on whenever you attach it. And you want to cut the ends off though, right here. And then you take your wire strippers and just kind of eyeball it. Strip them out, get it apart there. Push with your thumb and it'll just pull right off. And then you take the cord and there's a little opening right here, a little port. You just put it in there, put your wires in here. I need a little bit more play there. Okay, see, it goes right in there. Give yourself a little bit of play with them cords. And then all of the foot controls when you order them, they come with this little kit to put them together, assemble it with. So this is the wires that you need to connect the cord and you'll plug it in to this little, what would you call this, a PC board. And this one will need to plug into it this way. So whenever you connect your cords, you wanna make sure you're putting it on there to where it can connect properly. And then you just, and your wires together like so. You'll take these, push it down so you can put those in there, and then just release it and it should grip it. And just attach it with these and those should hold everything together for you. And you want to pull this cord back. You take this one here, snap it in place, hold the PC board in the back before you push it, that way you don't knock it out of place. And pull this forward. And then you take your grommet. This is the grommet that we use to attach the cord to the foot control, that way the cord doesn't come out. We'll put it on like so. We'll get the cord kind of flat in there. Press it on. And sometimes you need something to push it in there. Sometimes it just pops right in like that. If you're having a hard time but getting it in there, just use a pair of uh, wire cutters or you could even use these to pinch it with and just push it in. And like then, a pliers? Yeah, some pliers or something like that just to squeeze it. Sometimes the cords, depending on which cord you get, are fatter. Mm -hmm. And you'll have to like really push it in there, jam it in there. Put the back back on. You start at the back right here in the little right there. And then from right to left. And then it just pops right on. And there's your plastic foot control. Let's install a cord on a single speed metal foot control. You'll need a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips head screwdriver, and that's pretty much it. So you're gonna take your flathead and pop the bottom off. Woo! And then it comes with all of your pieces, your screws and your washers and stuff like that. You have a little tiny washer and a little tiny screw, and it's a Phillips head. I just go ahead and put those together very carefully. <laughs> just 
screw it in there. Don't tighten it down completely, that way you can put your cord in there. The little prongs on the cord, you wanna put them in between the screw and the washer on your foot control when you install it. And put this other one in there. You might need to cut the cord a little bit before you put it through here, just that way you have room to move whenever you attach it to your foot control. And put it into this little hole right here. And then I like to do one at a time just to make sure I get them in there right. Get them put down pretty tight. And take the little prong Make sure you put it in between the washer and the screw before you tighten it down. Should be in there real good. Make sure it's good and tight. Okay, then I like to put the bottom on before I put the grommet in just so it gives it something to hold on to makes it a little bit easier. You've got little things right here on the side here. You just insert those first. I can see. And then pop it in there. Just like so. And right here is where you're going to put your grommet on your cord. This is one of the cases where you need something to kind of shove it in there. It's kind of wiggle it a little bit. And you're good.